What is going on Babylonians? It's me Songs of Rays back with another video to bring to you to the channel. Now today we're going to be looking at our first proper content when it comes to Lost Ark and Lost Ark we've been obviously we've been doing a little bit when it comes to live streams but we've been having an absolute blast with this game and I'm loving the fact that it's got so popular especially with the fact that uh, I mean it's been hitting 500,000 concurrent players every single evening in the early access which obviously you had to be able to pay to be able to enter so as soon as this goes free to play when it goes a bit later on today it's going to be <laughs> insane in terms of the player count. I imagine we're going to probably see it close to what New World kind of like delivered, which is going to be pushing that 1 million concurrent players. But, you know, that's purely a speculation from my side. Uh, but what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be covering the fact that uh, the Founders Pack players have uh, been very reluctant to be able to shift over from servers, and uh, Lost Ark is now bringing in a way to be able to change that so that, uh, you know, we'll start seeing a little bit more of a balance when it comes to numbers on certain servers. So before you go any further, make sure you click a like and a subscribe on the, on the, on the channel. It really does help the channel out massively, and make sure to stay here here for any Lost Art content going forward. Uh, but first, let's get straight into it. So obviously, uh, when it comes to Founders Pack, um, this isn't going to affect the free-to-play players that are actually going to be uh, heading in from 5 p.m. GMT. Uh, but you know, this is purely to be able to say that uh, when when you had a Founders Pack, you you joined a server, you're pretty much there for that server for your six uh, playable characters. And you can expand that up to 12, uh, but, but people were very reluctant when it came to queue times to be able to swap over to another server because they'd already redeemed their founders pack and you weren't able to be able to take it through to another place or another another server in that kind of sense. Um, so you kind of missed out on all of those bonuses and you were kind of punished for you know joining a server that ended up becoming really, really popular. I have seen horror stories of uh, queues that have been into the 17,000th and uh, that's that's pretty insane. I mean, that's, that's a few hours of queuing right there before you can actually be able to play on your character once again, especially one that you've grinded and obviously unlocked all these extra benefits. So what they've done, they found a different kind of workaround. So um, what they're going to do is to help combat and make exploring new servers a bit more of a reasonable choice. We're going to be granting all Founders Pack purchases that redeem their pack by 12 p.m. Uh, PT or 8 p.m. UTC on Monday, February the 14th. An extra set of exclusive items from the Founders Pack that they've redeemed. Um, so. When these items will not be tradable and will be delivered to a player's product inventory so they can be claimed on a new server. Uh, your original founder pack will not be infected so you still get all those bonuses, these are just extras, and will remain on the initial server where you redeemed it. We are currently working to be able to get those item grants ready to go and will update players when they are ready to claim. They will be claimable any new server you choose, so in the meantime we encourage you to find a perfect server to be able to call home. So when it comes to like the breakdown, um, obviously you get more depending on how much money you kind of put into this game, which pretty much makes sense. Uh, so if you chose just the the, the standard bronze pack, you uh, you get your founders title, so you get to carry that over to a new server, and you also get your founders exclusive pet. So you basically all the all the bog standard stuff that came with pretty much all of the, uh, the founders packs, you get to take over into a new server, so you get to show off the fact that you have a new pet and you have that title ready to go. When it comes to the silver pack though, you get basically the title and the pet, but you also get an extra 150 royal crystals, which you'll be able to spend in the store. Uh, so it's a nice little bonus, it, it's, it's, it saves you a, a few quid, I suppose, uh, if you were planning to actually buy any kind of like cosmetics from the store. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a nice bonus, but you, basically you can take it anywhere into another server, like I've already mentioned. With the gold pack, um, obviously you get the title, as mentioned, you get the pet, you get the Northern Lawmaker skin, uh, and you also get an additional 500 Royal Crystals, so that kind of, kind of uh, bridges the gap between uh, what you pay for silver and between gold. And then platinum, you get the title, you get the pet, you get the Lawmaker skin. On top of that, you also get a thousand Royal Crystals, which is pretty huge. Um, you get the Founder's Platinum skin, you get the Founder's Exclusive Mount, and you also get a Platinum Welcome Crate, which comes with exclusive wallpaper, exclusive structure, legendary rapport gift selection chest, and a launch limited card pack. Now they have added the caveat saying if the Founders Pack or Founders Title or Founders Exclusive Wallpaper are used on the same roster where a pack's already been redeemed, you'll not be able to use those items. Uh, so it, it just stops it being like duplicated. But please note that this is a one-time grant, and we do not have plans to continue to make additional grants of items available to players in the future. For example, there will be starter packs available for purchase at full launch, and we highly recommend only redeeming them once you settle into your permanent home server. So Pretty much, you keep an eye out in the store when you actually do log into the game. This is for free to play as well as uh, people that are paid to be able to get into early. And so just keep an eye out on the store. There might be some like welcome packs that you could probably get at a discounted price just to be able to help you out in your fit and like you start your journey. And they, they'll probably be on the relatively cheap side just to be able to hit, like encourage you to be able to, you, like you know get yourself into this like the start of the game. Uh, so maybe a few resources, maybe a few health potions, maybe even a skin or two. But we'll be excited to see what happens when that drops at 5 p.m. GMT. 
They did also then to briefly touch on the fact that character creation limits are now going to be on select servers. So because of certain servers having so many, uh, such a high population and all that, uh, they have put a limit on the creation of characters by new players on servers that have reached the large queue time. So they're not extended to even further in that sense. So uh, this will prevent this will aid in preventing queues from increasing further, like I just mentioned. If you already have a character on one of these servers, you'll still be able to create new characters for your roster. Uh, this character creation limit will remain in place for the foreseeable future, at least until things start balancing out. Uh, and then we'll provide an update when it is eventually removed. Lastly, and I think this is probably the most key thing that when it came to this kind of update and the fact that they've given us this, mo this kind of information, is the fact that they have mentioned that additional servers will be available on that free-to-play launch. Now, this is crucial because obviously we saw around about 509,000 players playing at one point on Lost Ark, which obviously we were expecting more people. Obviously, there's people that come and go in between that, so we're probably seeing uh, maybe probably close to double that. I think I've heard a rumor of around about 1.5 million founder packs were sold. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's like completely correct, if that's completely accurate, uh, but if that is the case then obviously what are we expecting when it comes to free to play and the fact that it's just going to increase in numbers. Uh, so the additional servers is definitely a good place to be able to start and we are seeing one additional server for North America West, we're seeing six for North America East, uh, we're also seeing another six for Central Europe and we're seeing two more for South America. Uh, but they did say that thank you for your incredible support and excitement around the launch in the West. We appreciate your patience while we work through addressing these issues, and we look forward to seeing you in Arcasia. Um, so, overall, positive things. These are definitely things that needed to be able to happen, and it's nice that they're actually giving a little bit of an extra bonus uh, because of, obviously, the launch state, which was no fault of their own, I suppose. It is purely down to how popular this game kind of, like, kind of erupted uh, just from having that founders and being able to make it available pretty much everywhere. Um, so... Fair play to them. In that case, it's going to be some nice bonuses. And uh, yeah, I'll, hopefully we'll see some extra stuff coming in the future. And I'm, I'm very interested to see what those uh, those welcome bundles are actually going to be. I mean, I'm not, I'm not against but, uh, dropping a little bit of money on this game. I'm absolutely loving my time in Arcasia right now. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see a little bit more support for this game. I think it can actually go quite a way. The last thing to briefly touch on is there will be a hot fix that's obviously happening for four hours when you're in the, in the for the maintenance, and this is uh, happening between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. GMT. So obviously, effect that change that depending on uh, it's, it's currently happening at the time of recording this video. Uh, but just know that issues that are being addressed will include uh, fixed area chats, which will now allow players to talk to other players in a given area. Fusion material rewards for the welcome challenge have been increased to uh, to allow better support player progression. Uh, Mary's secret store will now display the regional server time instead of UT. DC. Fix quest dialogue UI to avoid text overlap on certain 4K resolutions. Player names will no longer be shown as unknown player in the voice chat UI. The world royal crystals and crystalline aura are now displayed in non-English languages in the Steam overlay when finalizing a transaction. Fixed entitled nightmare which was displayed as blank. World bosses will now drop the proper gear for the martial artist classes. Added an option for the voiceover on the character selection screen. Sorceress audio now plays when playing in a non-English language. All characters now have audio when using voices 2, 3, or 4 in a non-English language. VO is now present in the Stronghold Ceremony quest, uh, quest cinematic, and VO has been added for the Kazaros in the With Gratitude quest cinematic. So, overall, a nice couple of changes, uh, but overall, it did feel like a solid experience. I didn't really notice any kind of like glitches or bugs or anything in my in my early time on this game. Uh, so I think it's actually going to launch to a pretty good, uh, pretty good standard, and I I'm sure you'll have an bl absolute blast when it comes to Lost Ark. The last thing to mention in this video is the fact that Babylon, because we are planning to be able to do some kind of uh, content when it comes to Lost Ark, when it comes to like builds, when it comes to like informational videos, etc, etc, we have built and got a guild going on the Trixian server. So if you are over on that server in the EU, by all means, find us, look us up on there, find, you know, you see the details up on the screen right now, and uh, yeah, feel free to apply into the guild. We currently don't have a way to be able to like monitor who's actually coming into the guild, so by all means do that. and. Uh, let us know in the Discord or let us know in the comment section down below if you have joined. And hopefully we'll be able to grab a few of you for maybe some raids, maybe some dungeons, maybe some uh, additional content or something like that when we actually do go for streams. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, head, to, head on over there. Make sure you get yourself an application and we'll see you in the guild. Anyways, that wraps up all the news that we've currently got for Lost Ark. I'm really excited for 5pm GMT when obviously everything, all the features go live and obviously we'll see that bump and increase in free-to-play players. I'm curious as to what kind of queue I'm going to be seeing when I actually do log in for the first time. But, uh, do you know, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely one of the best games that's currently out there at the moment. And, uh... 
I'm, I'm loving the fact that it is free to play and it's just it's just come out to you know such a good standard so far and the story is definitely worthwhile being able to play through so hopefully we'll see you over there as always make sure you drop a like and a subscribe thank you so much to the babylonian family and keep yourself safe keep yourselves well and i'll see you all on that next video